Hello and welcome back to the Reapers with me, Tanky. So what we've got here today for review is the Elegoo Neptune 3 Max FTM printer by Elegoo. And they've kindly sent this over to me for the purpose of review, but everything here is my own personal opinion on this and there has been no favourable review asked for. Personally, let me uh, begin by uh, apologising to Elegoo. Um, they did send this to me a while back, but unfortunately, due to personal circumstances, uh, this is the first chance I've had to actually get this review out for them. So, what is the Neptune 3 Max? Essentially, it's the exactly the same machine as the Pro, just a lot bigger as can be seen here with the build area uh, being increased both uh, in the X, R, Y and Z axis. Um, and as we... We know this is an excellent machine from my previous reviews. But what new items does this uh, this particular printer bring to the, the table, bar the larger build volume? Well, we do have this nice little tray at the front here, which you can store extra tools and nozzles in uh, that uh, you'll use when uh, printing off, off this particular machine. But other than that, it's essentially the same machine as the Neptune 3 Plus and it's just got that, that bigger build area as uh, I mentioned. Now because it has got that uh, that bigger build area uh, where you can see the spool holder on the, the top that will hold a one kilogram spool of FDM printing material but to maximize the actual usage of this particular printer you would want to have a, a slightly bigger spool on there maybe a five kilogram one and uh, that would uh, allow you to maximize this entire build volume out but unfortunately the spool holder w itself won't hold that now with everything being essentially supersized on this machine uh, you have got the two supporting rails at the back here that are, are just elongated to uh, eliminate any wobble in the the tower the same as what you saw on the neptune 3 plus and because everything is supersized, uh, you will need to have quite a big area to put this in. A lot of people have actually turned around and asked um, how difficult are these machines to make? Well, here we have Mini Tanky, and she built this with oversight from myself uh, in the space of around about 30 minutes. So if she can do it, and she's only eight, anybody can do it. They are really, really nice and easy to put together. So once you have put this together uh, in a fairly short amount of time, you will see that you've got the levelling bolts at the bottom here, um, as well as your dual uh, Z-axis screws. And literally it all just works exactly the same as the, the Plus does. Same as with the Plus, I'd recommend swapping out the uh, original 0.4mm nozzle to a 0.6 and uh, making any adjustments to the belt tensioners via the, uh, the belt tensioning knobs that you need to but you shouldn't really have to um, as they are pretty well calibrated straight out of the box so when you just you've built uh, your machine um, before you go ahead and actually carry out any printing just go ahead and do an auto bed level and you'll be up and running straight away you have got these um, little knobs on the the bottom but uh, i haven't had to med um, move those around at all to assist with the, the actual bed leveling you've got your sd car reader belt tensioning cables and this little tray here for keeping in your your tools and your spare nozzles print quality wise it's a really good printer again what i'll show you here is the print speeds and the actual process that it, it went through as i was printing out the mass airflow sensor housing for for cap which uh, you'll be able to see in his most recent z4 video and that just shows you that 3d printing is not only just for doing functional sitting pit builds and lots of little models but you can also do it for functional parts for your car which is, is going to be difficult to get a hold of you've still got the filament sensor and the dual z-axis direct drive print head that uh, yeah, all came on the ori original Neptune 3 Pro and the Neptune 3 Plus and all in all this is a, just a really fantastic machine to use and I would highly recommend it to anybody who's got the space and that's the most important thing it's having the space for actually putting this in um, same screen that you, you had on on it it's literally the same machine just a lot bigger and I would highly recommend it for anybody who's 
looking at doing these these bigger prints. I've been Tanky from the Grim Reapers, and I hope to see what you've had 3D printed very soon.